Hey everybody, it's Matt Brown, and we're going to finish up uh, Jane's Addiction's three days in this one. So we uh, left off in this solo at the part that goes like this. Okay, so what happens next in this solo is uh, just a bunch of volume swells. And with uh, your volume swells, you it's kind of like tapping in that you want to have your, your gain up pretty high and a pretty compressed sound. Um, some reverb and delay will help with the sustain too. So what you want to do basically is roll your volume knob down just a few notches with your right hand and then do a hammer on with your right hand pretty much as hard as you can. You might notice I like to use my middle finger because it has a little bit more mass than my other fingers. Okay, so the notes that he's doing there are uh, A at your second fret. That's a B there. Back to A at the second fret. G sharp at your first fret. All right, then he jumps up um, and is now kind of playing out of uh, an E minor scale at the moment. So that's 12th fret, 11th fret to 7th fret. And then um, there's a little, so. So and then he passes through the 9th fret on his way back up. And this point, you're no longer doing volume swells. You're, you're just going to be doing just regular old pick notes. So your volume should be all the way back um, to 100%. So I'm going to put on the metronome so you can hear, um, you know, all the, the rhythms and subdivisions for the next part of the solo. One, two, ready, go. So now I'll, uh, I'll play it slowly and uh, <clears throat> maybe about roughly around half tempo so you can get uh, some of these ideas. And with the previous solo, he's pretty much uh, blending the same note choices. So you could think of this as kind of blending like uh, um, your major pentatonic with your minor blues scale. So those are the, the scales that are getting mixed and matched together to create the pool of notes that he's using. Okay, so here we go. One. Two, ready, go.
All right, so I'm not gonna break down, you know, phrase by phrase, note per note. Um, if you want the transcription, uh, just email me and I'll send you the tabs for this. Okay, so now we're to a breakdown section. Two of the guitar tracks are doing just palm muted eighth notes on the low string for a total of eight measures. Then um, they're gonna continue doing that type of thing that I just played for a total of 14 bars. And an overdubbed third guitar track comes in is adding kind of like the little icing on the cake stuff that you hear. So that sounds like this. Alright, so the harmonics that he's doing, just lightly over the third fret. The little lick that he, he does frequently throughout the song is... So that's a palm muted E, and then you're doing a hammer on from zero to three. And so he then does a little third string bend into an E5 power chord. And then finishes the rest of that measure with eighth notes. Then the following measure is the one with the harmonics. So that's, that's all there is to that part. Um, okay, so then we just have a lot of building up on the low E string. And then the next part that comes in is the erotic Jesus lays with his Mary's type part. So let's check out what the main two guitars are doing. So that sounds like this. Okay, so it's pretty simple, just uh, some palm muted low E's. And then at the end of the measure, we're gonna do a B5 to an A5. So that's on strings five, four, and three, two, four, four. So you open two, two, and then our little bend into the E5 power chord. So I'll put this together again. Um, here we go. Okay, so the uh, the other guitar, the third guitar, is doing the same thing except for over the E chord. Um, it's so what he's doing here is he's playing a little chunk of an E seven chord. Um, so the frets are fifteen and sixteen on your high strings. So. Like that. So I'll do this again. All right. So that um, gets played, and then he's gonna kind of do some of the the fill stuff. So I'll play what I just did into what it does next, so you can see how it connects. That's, that's the idea there. So, um, really all that's happening after the... The second time you go through it and do the... He's just improvising and doing some 16th note bat patterns with palm muted low E's. And uh, an E5 power chord, so one. And then back to the...
this time he just lets that E5 hold out. Um, and then back to... And so then this time, we're going to a C chord with a G in the bass. So that is three, three, five, five, five. Up to a D slash A. So just moving that up two frets and then moving that up two frets to an E. So you get one, two, three, and four. All right, so let's move on and talk about the next part. Okay, so the next part that comes in is a clean guitar part, and we are going to the key of D, basically, for this section. So I'll play what he does and then explain it. So it goes like this. playing a ninth fret note here on the fifth string and combining that with the open fourth string and for you three people that gives you basically what implies a D chord. On the bass is strumming these big chords that imply some nice chords too. Uh, okay, so we've got this D chord sound and then we're going to take it up a fret gives you a D suspended 4 sound. And then we're taking it to the 7th fret there. And then back to the 9th. So that time we're sliding down to the 7th and 5th frets in combination with this open D string. So then we come back to uh, the D chord here. that's all just going back and forth between the 9th and 10th frets and then we're going to slide up and then play the open E in combination with the 11th fret which gives you an E chord sound and so here we're going to play over an E chord sound okay so that's the first measure of this part okay the next part is so it's going through uh, uh, the ninth, seventh, back to the fifth frets. All right. Uh, so at this point, um, the uh, the first two guitar tracks, uh, the overdriven ones, are just hammering away on that low E note again, um, and then that. Uh, uh, basically leads back to the the riff that's the that that little section okay so we we play that and do the type thing again this time however we skip the clean part and we're going to go to a new riff that we'll talk about here in a second okay so i'll play the the next part for you this goes like this this is all three guitars here um in guitar two, though, um, is playing with uh, a clean tone. So two overdriven guitars, one with kind of a lighter clean tone. So. Okay, so let's talk about what we're doing here. We're playing an E chord on the three highest strings and the fret numbers are nine, nine, seven. And you want to do this with fingers two, three, and one. And basically we're going to be putting in a little melody here on the, uh, uh, on the uh, first string that is implying like a mixolydian flat six kind of sound. So first measure is just E. Okay, then the next measure is this. So you're taking the E up to an E augmented chord, which is 998, nine, and then to an E7 chord, which is 9910. Nine, 
so you're putting the pinky down there. Okay, so then that's those two measures repeat again. Okay, and then we're gonna go down to a C chord, so that's five, five, three. Slide it up to a D chord. So uh, the, the D chord measure goes. Okay, so that is, um, then serves as the riff that goes under the solo, the, the final solo. And there's also another chord, or uh, sorry, another guitar that plays power chord versions of that, like. So these power chords are their inverted power chords, and so the first one is E5 slash B, that's 7, 9, 9, 9, and the, the rhythm's improvised, it's just this kind of... You know, so just just groove with the, the rhythm section there. Um, so the other chords is a C5 slash G, just taking that shape down here to the third and fifth frets, and then a D5 slash A, which is at your fifth and seventh frets. All right, so all we have left now is to talk about the final solo. So let's check that out here. Okay, I'll do it for you slow now. So the end of this song, um, right there where I did this 13th fret note, that's being played over your uh, E chord. So this this guy here. And then um, the next part is an A. To, uh, he's doing a sus4. the open E note and then it ends with a big 
E chord. The other, uh, uh, instead of doing the, the A chord down here, the other guitar is doing... Rondo there at the end as well to, to cap uh, cap off the song. All right, so I'm guessing you guys will probably want the tabs for this lesson. So uh, yeah, if you want the tabs for this half of the song in the first half, uh, just just let me know. Shoot me an email. My email is in the comments section, or rather in the description. So uh, yeah, get a hold of me, and I'll uh, see you guys around for more lessons.